Welcome back, guys, to the Incline NFC podcast. My name is Andre, and I'm here with my guy, Kenny. And this is a podcast where we talk all things NFT, and we introduce you guys to our favorite art and artists within the NFT space. Um, and today, we're going to go into another very cool project that we've been into. It's a LaMelo Ball NFT project kind of thing. Um, so I'm actually going to do some screen sharing this time. And the sports collectibles... Again, in 2021, I'd say a safer NFT bet than some of this art. It's a little less speculative than the art. As you can see from that price floor, Jesus Christ. They're getting scooped so, up, bro. Yeah, so that so LaMelo, actually, he just put out, he just got signed by Puma, which is a big thing in the world of, if you're an investor in these NFTs. So he just signed with Puma. So I think the, the floor raised up a little bit, actually, after that happened, but. That's neither here nor there, but this is a Lamella Ball's collection, and he basically made four tiers of his NFT, and this is a dynamic NFT, so the picture that you see, the artwork is going to change over time as he like kind of gets more accolades within his career. Career, You're going to unlock, unlock more value in this NFT, so let's go ahead and dive in. So as you can see, we have 8.1 thousand items. We have 2.5 thousand owners, um, but these were actually priced pretty well these red ones were the cheapest ones um but some go they were going for yeah above one eth um so they were kind of priced differently so it was it, there was a different price for different tiers of the nft so we're going to take a look at the price floor of this nft and to do that you're going to go ahead and so, sort by price from low to high dang you seat. saw that so there's eight hundred thousand of those i mean there's of those and only two three hundred are for sale yeah. Because when you click, so that's good. That's like. So that's what I'm saying. People are holding these bad boys. That's why that's, I took I took mine off the market, actually. Because <laughs> <laughs> I realized that they're just going to be rapidly growing, especially as the NFC, the next, or excuse me, the, the next NBA season comes up. You know, the season hasn't even started and the, the price of these things are going up little by little. So we can take a look at the chart. And this chart is actually a little bit different, bro. Like the, it, it's correlating like almost directly with the volume traded. So as the price goes up, the volume traded increases. That's actually weird. And so look, when it was he signed to Puma on the on the 18th or 19th? Let's see when he when he was signed to Puma. It was very recent. It's just an example of how these NFTs that are specific to a person is literally like investing in the artist himself or the at this point the player himself. Because his success is the NFT success. And remember this last one where it's going down. I, I don't was, think that's the settled. It was, I think, in uh, February. So. Oh, so that's before he even launched it. Man. Yeah. Interesting. But I just saw a commercial about it. Yeah. And also volume corresponds to gas. Uh, shoot. I, I might was, pick one of these up, bro. Bro, if you if you can, bro, it's a good, it's a good, solid investment bro because he's a he's a player bro he's a dynamic player bro it's not like i'm not saying he's a great player or like one even the greats or one of the best players but like if anything he's dynamic bro like people are always talking about what Lamelo is doing have you been I mean, on his discord and stuff no i actually haven't seen any info about his discord here's his website also he's creating his own pl platform interesting and then he has a roadmap of course <laughs> so what are we on august so August is coming. Oh, so you'll have a chance to win one of the gold evolve. Oh yeah, you get entered in the rap in the. Uh, I'll have two chances because I have two of them. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> oh, That's what if great. you get that one? I would be ecstatic. <laughs> that would be ecstatic. So this is also a utility coin in that you get. I also read that you'll get access to some of his some exclusive merchandise and stuff like that too. So I'll get access to a a drop that's coming up in August because I bought two of these red Mars right here that's cool and then he has another one lbc owners that can utilize multiple tokens in order to compete oh complete puzzles and receive bonus tokens or traits yeah i'm all for the tokens man oh and the traits so that's so as the art changes these little traits are going to be more rare you know so if your token has the traits has a, a as a rare trait boom that's value mm. <laughs> crazy and then the, the it, like i said the nba season begins Future raffles, prediction games. Okay, so there's going to be some fucking sports betting too, man. It's crazy. More crazy stuff. It's just wild to me how 
and in stocks you do pay for liquidity but this was like a certain bet like i remember when you told me about this yeah you're like these are going to go up and now it's been like two months and it's already tripled his value and he got two he hasn't even been playing that's the that's the craziest part the season hasn't started <laughs> you know yeah and it's more than triple now because the last one is at 0. 0.03 and those are going right. to get scraped up and you bought so let's just do the math real quick because that's more than 120 dollars you get from a 40 dollars investment yeah it's 0. Like, 0. 0.03 65 dollars i paid like around 20 i think it was the original price and yeah, so it's tripled. So it's 40 over. to 160. Why do you need stock market? It's like, yes, you aren't going to be able to, so- to to sell this in the next second. But bro, if you price it at 0.03. All of this extra value you're getting though, you see? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and it's something that you want on top of it. It's like a house yeah. almost like. Yeah. Bro. Come on. Come on, guys. Come on now, people. <laughs> Get with the come program. On, come on, folks. Come on. I should have bought 8,000 of them. <laughs> I should have bought as many as I, I, I could afford, honestly. <laughs> but there's yeah. there's there's some risk associated. So, And, you yeah. know, when we went to do Tropo Farmer's wallet, he's he got like 20 of them. Right. Interestingly enough, shout out to Tropo Farmer. Smart, bro. And, hey, not saying that you're dumb if you're not investing, but, like, it would be a good move to do some research, guys, and get educated because I don't think these NFTs are going anywhere anytime soon. And I think we're going to start, as I always say, seeing these more and more in our everyday life as they get more and more popular. Yeah, and invest in what you know culturally. Like, you knew LaMelo culturally. And that's I watch the thing. basketball, like, yeah. <laughs> if you watch something in the culture that you know has value – then you can make money off yeah. of these. NFTs. If they have NFT, any, anything that you're interested in, interested in, if they have NFTs, you guys should be, you know, you guys should do your research in the NFTs first, but then you'll understand where the value lies within the NFTs, especially within the stuff that you're interested in. Yeah. If that makes sense. <laughs> but that's all we got for you guys today. Again, thank you guys for tuning in another episode of the Incline NFT podcast. And we will see you next time. Peace. All right. Thank y'all.